So Palace Autumn 2019 drops this Friday, August 9th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they released the lookbook last Friday, I think it was, and then they released the range today, which is Monday. And the last Palace Collection video I did, people complained that I didn't go over every single piece in the collection. So this time, I will touch on every piece. I won't necessarily like open it up and look at it just because that's going to take a lot more time. But I will give you my opinion on all the pieces. Um, but with that being said, this video is going to be pretty long, so let's jump in it. I'm probably just going to throw up the screen the whole time there just to make it easier to edit because these videos are such a pain to edit when you put every single individual picture on it. But with that being said, let's jump into it and look at the pieces because this season is fire. Also, if you guys didn't know or you can't see, I have my laptop down here. Um, so that's what I'm looking at if I'm looking down. So first off, you have this Pure Palace Aberex jacket. I'm not exactly sure what they're trying to do a spin-off of, but I think it is like some racing type thing that they are trying to do a spin-off of. And I think it's all right. Um, next up you have the deflector jacket, and this comes in a couple different colorways, I think. <laughs> um, this is actually the first time I'm seeing that 3M, and that's actually pretty cool. I do like how the kind of underneath your arms uh, is not 3M. I like how that looks, but other than that, not a super big fan of the jacket it does look like a warmer jacket um, but I mean these jackets like that leather one are gonna be priced crazy it's, palace has pretty high prices obsession bomber um, thought that was obsidian at first when I first looked at it. but anyway I'm not a fan of this I don't like the logo that they they use um, you'll see the logo used on some other stuff you have this tin foil jacket kind of whack um, and then the next one we're gonna look at is the ripped coach jacket. And I actually like this, I think this is cool. Um, don't really see Palace doing coach jackets too often, so I thought that was a cool silhouette for them to pull this out for. And I do like this graphic. Not super crazy about it, but I do like it, I support it. You have this Black Panther kind of scratching through the logo and popping out, and I think that's cool. The Talica jacket right here on the left is pretty weak. They have some stitching um, in some like triangles that I just don't care for. Once again, you have this Obsession logo, and it's a knit this time. Don't like that. Um, you have the Persales, Persales shirt, and I think this graphic is cool. They have the graphic on the back. It's like some heavenly um, Sistine Chapel type painting, but I don't like that it's just on the back. I think it'd be cool if it was all over, all over, but not a huge fan since it's just on the back. Moving on, you have this, the Drop Cord Shirt Tan, and this might be my favorite piece from this drop. There are a lot that I really like, and this is definitely up there for top or, you know, top three from the drop. So this is a corduroy shirt, and then on the back you have the palace branding ac across the shoulders, and the shoulders, of course, are drop. So that means instead of having, you know, the, uh, the shoulder and the sleeve meet here, it's gonna meet a little bit lower and it gives it a baggier feel. I wish the embroidery of the logo was actually the same color as the corduroy, just because corduroy pieces, you know, I feel like they work better when they're not as loud, so, but still a very cool piece and I like it. Um, favorite colorway, definitely this like classic tan beige colorway. Next up you have the armless shirt and when I first saw this, I thought it was really cool, but they actually did something that they did last season that I didn't like. I wish they would have just had Palace once. I don't know if you guys, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see it, but basically on most of those hands where they're doing this, they have Palace written. And I think it'd be cool if they just put the Palace like on the one where they point down or something, you know, up by the chest. I think that'd be cool. But having it all over the place is just kind of weird, I think. Um, I think it would just worked better if they put it once somewhere blended shirt or blender shirt that's just pretty plain two different colors the contactless shirt they use credit cards I'm never a big fan when brands use credit cards uh, I just think it's kind of lame so next up you have the personless jean in white and I think this is cool not something I would get just because too much white for me but I really like how they did this and it's all over once again so you know you go to the back there's still stuff on the back um, but yeah I think it's cool just too much white for me some jeans some Car, uh, some cargo army pants. Alex would love those. He's always big into those. Some more pants. Looks like nylon jeans, sweatpants. I mean, those are pretty self-explanatory. There's not 
anything crazy happening on any of those. Seems like every season they do something like this, one of these shell jackets. And I'm just not a fan of the design on there. That, I don't know, it strains my eyes just looking at it. <laughs> Um, the shorts are a little bit better, but still not a big fan of that design. I guess that purple colorway is pretty decent. Um, G-Lo shell top. I'm guessing this is probably going to like glow in the dark or something. Let's see. Yep, glow in the dark. Uh, this is kind of cool. You know, pretty subtle branding. Uh, matching colors. That glow in the dark is actually really cool on the back. Um, but yeah, probably going to be pretty pricey. I also like the double neck zip. That's pretty dope. Got the revealer shell jacket. I mean, this is all right. Yeah, so I think those are zippers, and when you unzip it, you have the branding on the inside. I think that's really cool. The racer shell jacket, I mean, it's pretty much what it is that you can see right there. Uh, the zero zero hood, and this uses one of the graphics we saw on one of the knockoff beer hats that they did last collection. And honestly, this is probably my least favorite graphic out of all those ones, so I'm not a big fan of this. Um, but yeah, moving on, the Vertigo hood, once again, that just strains my eyes, and that's a wonky colorway. You have the glow-in-the-dark pants and the shell bottoms to match it, which are also pretty cool because you got that branding once again. The other bottoms that match, not a big fan. Um, Polar Tech Laser Crew, and I think this is a pretty cool, you know, just, you know, chill, uh, chill piece. And if you guys don't know what Polar Tech is, it's a really soft material. Um, a lot of scarves and stuff are made out of that. Um, gloves also like glove liners and stuff uh, so yeah very nice material gonna be very soft and I like how it's just you know more quiet piece subtler and you got some nice color blocking um, once again you got the shorts be a really comfortable material nice branding decent colorways nothing loud just pretty normal um, the dome hood I've not looked at this all right yeah not a big fan of that I'm just gonna brush over this quick because we are gonna see some tees later and I like the colorways for the tees a lot, so we'll uh, dive into it there. But that being said, this colorway is pretty dope. Purple hood, not a fan of that design. The acid wash or whatever type of wash that it has going on is kind of cool. Once again, we have that Obsession logo that I just don't care for. Um, sphere hood, not a very cool design. Uh, the chisel up hood, I have not looked at this yet. This is a chisel and a dude carving. Yeah, I don't like that graphic on the front. So this is one that I thought was pretty neat, but like I like what they have going on, but I would not wear it. Um, but yeah, basically it is a play on a graphic for premium lights. Um, and you have some branding on the hood for it. It's kind of hard to tell what it says. You have high quality on one sleeve and then something else on the other sleeve. Uh, Looks like it says something size. There is the window liquor hood, and it's just a triferg with condensation or something. Not a big fan of that. Uh, I've seen a lot of people kind of showing this one love, the fat pea hood. And at first I thought it was cool, but the more I look at it, I'm just not a, not too crazy about it. Um, I don't know, it just kind of looks weird. <laughs> and these colorways aren't that great. Uh, other than the, the white colorway, I like the... I like the pea colors that they chose for the white colorway, but for the other colorways, not a huge fan. Um, continuing from what they did last collection with the Palace, where it's the Dallas um, play on the TV show, I think it was. They have this, and once again, I didn't watch Dallas, so it doesn't do a whole lot for me. You have this cut and sewn crew neck, which I think is pretty cool. Like I like the cut and sewn aspect. The colorways are cool. So next up, you have the Tour de Force crew, and I really like these. But I wish they chose a different color for the text and the triferg because I feel like it stands out way too much. I think they should have chose a color that doesn't contrast so much and fit in, fits in more. Like when you have all this color blocking, it would make sense to choose one of the colors that the color blocking has already used just to make it blend a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I guess this colorway is a little more subtle and kind of something more that I would have liked to see. But I really like the color blocking colors chosen for this, but not the text colors. Um, I do like that salmon color, but not the white. This is just the P3 logo with uh, the logos uh, two-toned split in the middle. And I don't like the colorways too much, and I'm not too big on the two-tone split. So, I don't know. Um, but I do like the P3 and the P3D, I think. I think those are cool. The So Far Crew, that's just a normal crew neck with the little triferg on it. Pronto Rugby, I don't like the split on it. 
This one's pretty cool, the Emotional Wave Long Sleeve. It almost looks like it's like a velour material. The logo on the center on the chest is actually embroidered, which makes it really nice, I think that's cool. So I do like this piece, I think this is a really cool piece. And it comes in in this other colorway, both cool colorways. The Palace London Long Sleeve, nothing crazy. Classic Long Sleeve, once again, nothing too crazy. And we got, we got that going on for a little bit. Bug Munch, there's a big bug on the front, I don't like that. Uh, so far long sleeve, once again, just regular long sleeve. My size polo, um, yeah, so I didn't see this before, but this kind of looks like a football kit or a soccer jersey, and I'm not a big fan of it, but I can see uh, why people would like it. The Effector t-shirt, whack. Duo panel t-shirt, that's all right, but I feel like it's almost too basic. <laughs> Uh, pimped t-shirt, I'm gonna click on the vert stripe t-shirt. I mean a lot of these are just what it is There's not a whole lot to talk about Tonker t-shirt Pretty pretty normal and then we get to the heavy t-shirt, which is one of the coolest pieces I really like these and I almost threw on my Carhartt whip shirt that I got the rugby where it's the red striped one from a, uh, <laughs> From a couple videos back just to match with this shirt But I really like this. I think this is cool I'm a big fan of the striped shirts like this where they do the fatter stripes and moving on, we have a really cool red colorway. I love this red colorway. I really like how they chose just to do two colors and the triferg matches one of the colors, so it blends in really well. And I think this is a really well done piece. And yeah, I don't know, I really like it. One of my favorite pieces. This yellow colorway is hard too. I really like that yellow colorway. Pretty much all of them except for the blue colorway, I really love. And even the blue colorway is pretty good, but yeah, I really like those. The next one, I laughed when I saw this, uh, the Wise Up shirt, which is, of course, a play on Tommy Wiseau, but actually, this is not Tommy Wiseau, this is James Franco in there from his movie, The Disaster Artist, which is a biography of Tommy Wiseau's The Room, a little behind the scenes, and he's wearing a triper. I love it when they do this, and I like the shirt. The Sound Mate t-shirt, mm, I don't know, that, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, par t-shirt, you got a little golfer dude swinging overhead. Play on the old Internet Explorer logo or something like that. Moving on, the cube t-shirt, a bunch of ice cubes, not a big fan of that. Versailles shirt, once again, I wasn't really feeling those. The Lick, Lick shirt, I don't know how you pronounce that, but kind of a cool logo. Reminds me, reminds me of something you'd see like at a gas station or like a race or something like that, maybe even a bowling alley. Um, just, uh, just a cool logo. I don't really vibe with any of the colorways though. So, um, yeah. Tactic shirt, not too crazy. The pink t-shirt, they use a Blackberry, which, we, which we'll see later. Um, piano, kind of whack. Uh, the Rolls P3. Uh, so this is the P3 logo we saw before. You have a statue carrying the P, very similar to the Cherub one that they have. Um, they have a gradient for the P3 that they use. And yeah, just, I don't know. I don't really like any of these colorways and the graphic is like so so for me mm. so here we have the ripped shirt which we saw before on the track jacket you got that black panther claw on his way out the back i think this is a cool colorway i like that like burgundy darker red um yellow colorway uh, i guess that's decent gray colorway can't complain navy colorway i guess they could have done a little bit better to match the panthers color and the white colorway and the black colorway <laughs> um but yeah decent colorways decent logo not a bad piece so far pocket shirt it's a so far shirt, you know, it's got the stuff. Uh, you got two buckets. I like to see them doing this bucket, but it's basically a bucket, if you know what I mean. The cord bucket, I love to see corduroy stuff. I love corduroy, you know, the corduroy quality on the palace items are gonna be crazy, so I can't complain. Uh, wool panel P hat, I don't know. Um, pretty much none of these hats stood out to me this season, and it does take a lot for a hat to stand out to me. Clarity shell runner, I mean, all these just look very similar to me and don't really stand out like I said. Um, you have this one, I think this is ugly, the P. Crew shell hat, uh, the side slide, don't like that branding strap, um, these are all just, you know, pretty normal. I don't like the Obsession uh, logo, so I don't like that hat. You have a camo hat with the P blending in, you got the P6 panel, and this is this is one I like. I like the P, uh, the P hats, and I like to see them just do this, you know, these are some good colorways. And it's just a basic hat with the with the classic palace pee on it. I like that. Um, I like that red colorway too. Um, I don't like this beanie because I don't like the graphic they used. I don't like this uh, style. 
or all over print that they're doing. The vert beanie, I don't know. I thought the coolest part about those vert track suits was the unzipped stuff, so I don't know about that. Tonker beanie, I don't like that. Palace London, not a big fan of that. You got some socks, you got the underwear. And I was actually really into these. I, I like these, uh, the Palace Chelsea boots, and this, this is the cow print colorway. I think this is really cool. Um, they're gonna be crazy expensive though, so. Yeah, probably not gonna, or definitely not gonna get these, but I really do like those. I think those are dope. They use this multi-cam colorway, and you have like the woodland colorway, and then you also have the uh, snow colorway. I'm not sure if that's what they're calling it, but that's what it is, and you got every one that they do, and you know, we can click on one to look at it. Not a whole lot to say, it's camo, so you know, it comes in the woodland and then the snow. And, you know, the quality on their silhouettes that they use for the bags are, is really high. Like you saw for that backpack, it's really nice. I really like the, um, the silhouette that they use for the tech bun bags where it wraps around. I really, I really like those. Um, but yeah, just not too crazy about it. I'm not disappointed or anything. So like I mentioned before, you have the Blackberry coming in again and this time it is a pendant and these are gold so it's going to be pretty expensive so if you want a gold uh, blackberry pendant there you go <laughs> uh so this mat this is the cherub i was talking about earlier this is a pin got the box pin badge a afro comb a zoot saver which i'm not too sure what that is um yeah i don't know i guess you can save your zoots in here for all the hype beast alcoholics out there, they have a pea bottle opener that comes in this blue, a red, and a silver. Palace carabiner, carabiner, however you want to say it. Pea whistle. It's just a palace shaped whistle. I mean, whistles are already in the pea shape, so why not? Palace erasers, which are, you know, alright, whatever, cool. <laughs> the sticker packs, I don't know, I never really look at those. Get the boards, the wheels, and palace wax. Yeah, so I guess we'll scroll through the boards and then I'll wrap it up. Uh, I think the boards are all right. Uh, nothing too crazy. <clears throat> nothing too crazy. They're decent, you know. That is it for the season, and I think this is a really good season. There are definitely some items that stick out to me, and just overall, I think there's a lot of good stuff there. And I respect how they've like turned it around, made a really good season, in my opinion. I think this is a really good season, and you know, for me, top pieces you got the drop corduroy. What else? That heavy shirt, super dope. Um, those are definitely the two top pieces, my favorite pieces. That striped long sleeve with the embroidered sun is cool. And I love the Wise Up shirt, the Wise Up shirt. I think that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just four items. There's a bunch more that I really like. The stuff that I'm probably actually gonna go after is that heavy shirt and then the cord shirt. But the cord shirt is gonna be very expensive, so I guess I'll wait to see what the price is because Carhartt Whip also has some very cool corduroy stuff coming out in their collection which I'm probably going to do a video on tomorrow. I posted on Instagram here. You can follow me if you don't um, to participate in stuff like that. But yeah, I asked if you guys wanted a lookbook video and a couple people wanted it and I want to do it. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, but other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment about what you guys think about it. I'm really interested what you guys think of the season because I think it's a really good season. Um, but yeah, other than that, leave a like, subscribe don't subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and I'll see you guys in the next video.